Hi, this is Stephanie Pickard with Guitar Control, and today I want to go over the intro, which is also the verse, for Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. As always, there will be tabs below to help you follow along, so let's get started. So in the real recording they use a sitar, but I'll show you the best way to match it on the guitar. <laughs> So let's take a closer look at that. So I'm doing something called pedaling, which means no matter what I do, I come back to the same note. And that note in this song happens to be the high E, which is the open first string. So this note. We're always, always coming back. I'll play the melody without it, and then I'll play it with it. So if you're just listening to the melody notes without adding that in... break it in halves and really focus on what we're doing. So the most important thing is to make sure you're not at all muting that high E. You really want it to ring out and that can be the most challenging thing. So depending on what finger you want to use. Sometimes I'm using just one where normally I would use whatever is the most logical because I don't want anything to mute that, that high E. So let's take that first half. <laughs> That might be harder to do standing up, so you can use one finger if you want. Just pedaling. Five, seven, eight, ten, eight, seven, five. called outside picking. It's still alternate picking, but I'm on the outsides of both of the strings. So if these are two strings, I'm picking outside of them. Inside picking would be on the inside, but still alternate picking. So for the second part, I'll show you the end of our little melody, but then I'll show you that little tiny lick at the end separately. So let's check this out. Part two. <laughs> going to that open E after. So remember, have your fingers arched because we don't want to mute at all. We don't want to mute this high E. Muting is when we get that kind of a noise, it kind of deadens the string. Sometimes we do want to do that on purpose when we're playing a chord and say it's, you know, an A major chord and you want to strum everything, you can deaden the sixth string by muting, but in this case, we want to hear that high E. So we really want it to ring out, so have that finger arched. So let's hear that second half. Five, four, five, seven. So let's go ahead and put those together. And our very last part is our lick. Hammer on on the second string, two to four. And then I use my pinky for the fifth fret. So pointer, ring, pinky, and then I go ahead and drop my pointer down one string to the first string, second fret, and then back to the second string, and then I go backwards. Five, four, two. So pull off. Hammer on when I'm going forward and hammering on the notes, pull off when I'm descending and going backwards. So two, four, five. 
second string, drop to the first string, second fret, back to the second string. Five, four, two, four. Remember, there's tabs below to help you follow along. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website, www.guitarcontrol.com, and stay tuned for more videos soon. See ya.